that we can uh, bring her back again this time. The next international adventure is the European Championships in Hungary. Quite hard to say that when you've got a cold, isn't it? You're getting it soon. <laughs> I hope not. I've got about 48 hours in a van with you. <laughs> Lake de Cida, long way to go. We've got a stop off in Germany and then we're going to this amazing place. Sounds wicked. I've got you a great soundtrack to kick off with. What are we going for? Do you like Shania Twain? Oh, I love it. Let's go, girls. <laughs> Lake de Cedar, and there it is, JD. What do you reckon to that? What a place. Massive, isn't it? It's huge. Um, what's format next few days into this weekend, mate? So, first up is unofficial practice. Couple of days here on this little bit, off the match length. Prep day Sunday. Mm -hmm. Chilling out, you said, but... I don't, I don't... think... It's not going to happen, is it? No, no. I think there's going to be a few rigs and ups to tie. And then all starts officially on Monday. So we've got five official days practice all next week. Probably go a little bit quiet then because it gets very, very serious. The match day is the following weekend. Going to catch some fish today? I reckon so. It looks great, doesn't it? I can't wait to wear a line. Look at that. Let's go. What's they got on there, Steve? I think that could be a carp ah. and not a skimmer. <laughs> <laughs> Could be a 40 pounder, this. He's a lovely one, him. Oh, little mirror. I wonder how many of them there are. Three. Well done, mate. Right? Smashing that. Look at him. What did you catch him on? Two little worms. Oh yeah, look at that, I'm going to get your photo in for you. Those just up to £40 pound a foot vlog. Commune. Very common carp. Look at him. I'm going to get your photo with him. First fish of Lake De Cedar. Second chuck in, little carp. Look at that, beautiful. What a place. What you got there, mate? Ooh. It's a carp. How's your cold? So, I tell you what's getting a bit better, can you tell? Yeah, yeah, I can. You're a bit more perky today, aren't you? Bit of sun on my back. What have you got your carp on? Oh, you've got you've got your foot engaged. You've got a little prototype you're using there. Oh, it's lovely. Look at that. First time out for me. You've had a few goes, haven't you? Oh. Mmm. What are we saying? Baby carp, do 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 baby carp do 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 do. When you say semi slider, what's that mean then, mate? Cut him. Um, so we've only got about four gram of lead down. Yeah. Rather than oh look, he's in the top of the nose. Oh, you've nosed him. He must have been yeah. sniffing it. Yeah. Um, we've only got about four gram of lead down. Um, rather than like your normal slider where you've got like eight and ten gram of lead down, and it's only sliding. You can see there maybe only about three foot. Ah, but, so, so you don't have as much weight down that bottom end. Is that the advantage? Yeah, I think that's it. The main, the main thing about it. Yeah, and you've got to cast off some shot. Otherwise, she goes out like a bag of spanners, <laughs> doesn't it? <laughs> so a picture with this baby carp. Lovely little carpy over there. Look at him. What are you going to call him? Uh, Cameron. Cameron the carp. Cameron just caught you. Cameron the carp. Oh, you're in mud for fun. We're in mud in. <laughs> Where's your float? I haven't got one out. I'm going for dinner in a minute, so I just thought I'm going to fire the rest of this in. I'm going to eat some food. If it's not there, no one can say it isn't in the right spot. Exactly. <laughs> Downsy might have a bit of an issue with that when he gets here, though. What's going to happen? <laughs> Come on. Everyone's going to laugh the f <laughs> yeah. Different foot boss man, isn't it? 
gobsmacked. You want the shot bit and all of it, Matt crashing Cam's rig. Not a lot, mate. not look that way, does it? I'm trying to put it on the I do a lot of it when I'm targeting skimmers in winter. Yeah. yeah. We have the same problem in the venue as we do. About five pounds. Two watts. Oh. Yeah, you could put a foul up straight in top lip block. Brand new, isn't it? Get a photo of me and can we? Aim. Oi! It's like being at Zeke, isn't it? <laughs> We're doing bleak in it for three days. Bobby? Oh, <laughs> 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 Bobby, you can Ah, good is there. Tell you, I'm get This is the greatest bakery in the world ever. Breakfast stop. Great breakfast stuff, isn't it? <laughs> Bit of pizza breakfast. Toucan, look at that! Wow. Pterodactyl. It has, hasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> can tell where money is, folks. Look at this. I've got a little crappy plastic bead on my slider. Cameron's got a gold one on his. Gold plated, it's not just gold. Gold plated. Gold plated slider bead. Tell you what, Matt. I think we've got full blog content here. If it's a bream, we've got two species as well. Bream with its carp suit on. Yeah, mirror. Oh, drop scale. We've been out for five years. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen you come back? No, you said that the other day though, didn't you? Belt it. We've got the dad and lad bleak race on the go here, look. Oh, oh, tell you what. Oh, he's back in, dad. Come on, nice, get back in. Oh, dad, he's got another. That's 2 1. First to five, 2 1 to cap. 3-1, Dad. Oh. oh, he's bumped it. Come on, Nath, this is your chance. Gobbing off at surface there, Cam. Donkey, 4-1. Come on, Marsh, bury him, Cam. He's got it, he's got it. 5-1. But Nathan hasn't got any bait, folks. <laughs> this is what he's dealing with with Cam. You'd think his son would give him some bait, wouldn't you? Look at this for service, folks. There you go. Just what you asked for. This is World and European Tramp's dad <laughs> bringing us coffee. What a legend. Nathan's Derby, best tackle shop in the universe. <laughs> and then there's another couple, is it? What's Cheers. it called? Pickering's. Yeah, we have one in Nottingham and uh, one in Stoke. Yeah, there you go. If you fancy. If you fancy. <laughs> if you quote the word Lake de Cedar, Get eighty percent discount. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is our sort of last um, little practice in it off the match length today. The snake. Oh, snake. Oh, he's got he's it. Nailed a bleak in my peg. Did you see that? He's got it there. Look, oh. look at him. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. Snake's got a bleak in his mouth. Is it? Yeah. Well, you don't see that every day, folks. Not live on camera. <laughs> How mental is that? Look at him. He's, he, do, he, doesn't, he doesn't look very happy. Oh, scared now. Don't get bit by him. How mental is that? He took it in your peg. I mean, people have pike problems, but you ever have snake problems? <laughs> How mental is that? Get your present. <laughs> You're not touch it. That's nothing anyway. The one that was down here yesterday was like half again as big and it a skimmer. Look at the bleak he had in his mouth. First official practice morning. JD, give us an update on temperature. Temperature, we're at 
seven o'clock and it's already 20 degrees. It's, it's only quarter to seven, it's exaggerating. This is not ginger friendly. Um, what's the general consensus for first day, JD? Um, I think we're going to feel our way and find out what fish are on the match length. Um, but before that all starts, we've Mark and Darren have gone to draw our boxes, haven't they? Yep, so in about 15 minutes time we'll know which part of the match length we're practising for the rest of this week. And another very important part of it, we've discovered these. What do you think to these, JD? Oh, the, these? It's a revelation. If you've never had iced coffee, give it a go. It's fantastic. First practice session on the match length. All ready to go. Cue balls to fire in on the slider. Matthew there, look, making his balls up. What a place, look at it, all the way up to there, up to the dam where we were fishing last week. Massive venue. Wind blowing down this way. Into Stevie M's reedy corner. Do you reckon, gentlemen, first day of practice? It's warm. What it's temperature? In the shade what? down there. <laughs> you got shade. I have now. Yeah. You've only got shade with Aston, have you? What's that? <laughs> gibble. Give us a fact about gibble carp, James. Any other fish can fertilise a gibble's egg. There you go. Rampant pounder. That's what that one is, isn't it? Pounder. Very horny fish. <laughs> <laughs> a bit like me after being here for two weeks with you, a lot. <laughs> What do you think, Cam? What we learned? I think it's similar to where we were the other day. A bit shallower, mm. a lot smaller fish. We've had some bites again, haven't we? Do you think it'll get better and better, but more bait goes in? Hopefully. And we all caught more and more towards the end. So mm. Some of this. No, we did, to be fair. Yeah. This is Ukraine team next to us. Nice to see them here. James is going to slay us one live on camera. Aren't you? Reckon. You better do now. Oh. Don't know if you can see his float middle of the screen there. Oh, oh, that's a bit under the surface. You were, you were twitching then. Don't let everyone who's watching this movie down. Camera had one by now, haven't you? Two. <laughs> oh, 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 James. No. And that, folks, what you call, in movie terms, an anti climax. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Cam. Hang on, let me zoom in on his float. No, no, it's pointless, isn't it? Go on, it, knock it out at water. It's the middle of screen, folks. Oh. Oh, Matt's big, oh. not mine. <laughs> Should we go again, Cam? Yeah, that, that's good for me. Go on, get one more. This cat foot's horrible. Middle of, I tell you what. Oh. Oh, oh, you've made up for it, mate. Fair play. That one looked like a snowman as you fired it out. It's like a bigger head on it. Carrot for a nose. It's one of these balls that's been made up about that. <laughs> what you got in here, Nate? Um, I don't think we can. Never. <laughs> there we are, halfway through the practice week, folks. Bit different this year because, um, We've only got five anglers uh, to fish in a box. There's only room for five, so we've sort of been taking it in turns, having a day off. It's my day off today. I'm with assistant manager, Darren. Say hello, Darren. Hello. Hello. Very happy, as usual. Um, and we're going to go and watch the start of training day three down in A and B sections. What's, um, what's your consensus so far, Darren? What you've seen? You've been on the bank two full days now. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of fish to be caught. A and B section, a lot of small fish, a lot of skimmers, not so many bleak. C, D and E section, there's a lot of bleak and bigger skimmers, four or five hundred gram fish, uh, a lot of slider fishing, A and B, slider and pole. Seems like a bit of a match of two half so far. Um, a and B, smaller fish, like Darren says. C, D, E, bigger fish, a bit more slider so very interesting we're learning lots I feel like we're not we've not got anything set yet have we no we're not got anything set but we're catching a lot of fish i think we're probably catching more fish than uh, a lot of teams but we might be on good boxes yes but we don't know that yet but we'll keep you updated folks sorry it's been a little bit busy me and denny haven't been doing that many updates but you don't get a lot of time on this 
um, but I'm sure that we'll bring you a few more by the end of the week. This is what goes on in other teams, folks. These are the Czech boys, and they have their own rig and whip tyres, don't they, Darren? Yes, they do. Are you going to do that for English team? No, but Mark said he would. Mark down? Yes, he did. No. <laughs> After they've done all the ground bait. Right. How good's that? So these boys sit and fish, and they have their own little team. Got one tying up there. And one doing whips. This is A and B section, folks. A little bit different to the rest of the match length. A lot shallower. Um, seems to be a lot smaller fish at the moment up here. This is the Dutch team at the minute. Anya. Obviously, the follow guru. You know she's one of our gang. She's three or four times ladies world champion. Nice to see her fishing. Um, in the senior Europeans. So these here are the Italians. Fantastic team. Um, I think are they number one, Darren? Are they rated number one? No, I think Hungary are, to be honest. Hungary. Italy must be second then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. England third. England's third. Get that one in there. Yeah. Got your England hat on, haven't you? Oh, yeah. Um, but these are catching some fish today. This guy's catching a few on a pole. Interesting. Looking very strong. Tell you what they do out of Italians, great names. Ferruccio Gabba. Jacopo Falcini. Filippo. Filippo what? Balsami. You made that up, didn't you? No, no, no. Is that his name? Yeah. Gianluigi Sorti. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this for service, folks. They've got their own chefs. Taking them coffees down as they're fishing. There you are, mate. Here's a little coffee for you. Thanks, pal. Don't call me, pal. Look at that. What great service. Just uh, having a little practice on after a session. As you can see, learning our thing. And he's bending into one on the 900. Someone's got to catch the little ones, haven't they, Cam? Yes. Oh, went for Will Ways and Power Scoop then, didn't he? <laughs> And he's got him. He nailed though, isn't he? What have you got on there? 16 feet special. Oh, strong like bull. Like James Dent. Look at them, they're game changers, mate, aren't they? If we can uh, figure out how to catch a few of them. Oh, he's got plenty of corn in there. Oh. It's times like this, folks. Sun's out, ginger's in, and thank the Lord for air conditioning. I don't know what we do without it, Matthew. How's your day been? Um, quite a difficult day, but I think we've learnt a few things again. Yeah. And um, a few tweaks. Will's done well again, hasn't he? Doing Will, very well Will's this week. done brilliant every day, hasn't he? Mm. Fantastic angler. Yeah. Great to be part of a team with him as well, isn't it? Yeah. It is. You don't want to be next to him now, like I've been. No, I've escaped it. It's, I reckon there's going to be me tomorrow, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> We're going to McDonald's. Are we? Yeah. What are we having? Two double cheeseburgers. Yeah. Two M and M and caramel McFlurries. Yeah. And two two large roller colas. Oh, can't wait. Here's a slide. Slide on. <laughs> slide on, brother tractor. <laughs> that my neighbours got. You we, want something? Are we sharing? Yes, of course. Sharing dinner. Sharing's caring. Not too much. Any full fat cow? This, this, this is the best. Is it? Yes, this is really the best. What's it like? It's uh, like, um, it's chocolate with some biscuit in it. Yeah? Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. Thank you. What else we got? Uh, some uh, diet coke. Have you got any normal cow? No. Why? No, no, no. You get fat from it. Hey! Right. <laughs> <laughs> you want some game? Thanks, Tanya.
We're in the final stages of the first day. Um, unfortunately, I was reserve, which is just part and parcel of um, fishing the European champs and world champs and stuff like that. But I've got to watch my best mate catch a load of fish. Um, so we're coming in the last 10 minutes now. So I'm just having to wander up to Will. I've been running Will's section and um, Matt's section. They're both doing fantastic. Um, so we'll have a review at the end of the day. End of day one for the Ginger Ninja. What are we saying? Seven kilo, 725 grams for fifth interaction. Um, quite happy with that. This end's not been great. It's been three ten kilo um, at the other end. But midday fishing, really hard condition. And more importantly, I think the team's got 20 odd points. So we will find out. But we've not been too bad for the first day. Don't know where we are yet. We'll let you know. Day two, knife, we've got the draw, what do you think? Um, I think we're looking quite good here. Yeah? Yeah, I think you'll be fine. Not a bad area. D21, a couple of pegs yeah. took right away where Will were yesterday. Oh, in a bit of a bay here, but mm. I think you won't, be, uh, you won't be too bad here. William? William's on the boss peg in the D section. God help and everyone else. down there by the tree. I think he'll, I think he'll do really well yeah, there. Yeah, I think people are in trouble there. Yeah. yeah. Um, Cam is C21. C21. Yeah. Any good? It is at the right end of that section, so yeah, I think we've got the tactics. Hopefully, be all right. And then right. A and B. I'm not so sure about A and B personally. We've a got was hard yesterday, wasn't it? Same pegging A. We've same got, peg. Yeah, so we should have a bit of an idea. If it fishes the same, I think we'll do all right with them small fish. Yeah. Um, B section, James. Seven. Middle of the middle of the first section. Yeah, I've yeah. got I've got a feeling he's got them deeper pegs where we practiced yeah. him within. Yeah, he might but, struggle a bit towards uh, yeah for them pegs towards the end of that section, but he could be all right. We've got yeah. to pull some out of bag to be yeah. honest, folks. Obviously, two or three teams yesterday scored really low. Poland eight points, Slovakia thirteen, thirteen, it? Hungary fifteen. So there's a lot of points to catch up on. Yeah. Um, not gonna lie, we've gone a little bit balls out, balls on the line, and see how we get on. Yeah, we've got to go for it. Yeah. Day two of the European champs, B seven. After uh, being bank running yesterday, the team done brilliant with twenty two points. Um, but Mark, Mark and Darren decided to put me in for second day which I was more than happy with. And I've got B7, which was a reasonable area yesterday. So fingers crossed, as you can see, the quite nice conditions today, not as windy at all. Got top man behind me, my favorite bank runner. So let's hope we, uh, it goes well. Okay, for day two, lots of worms, just letting them settle. These are the bait measures you use internationally and if you let everything settle down you can get more and more in them there's a two and a half litre bait limit next to my slovenian mate andrea hello. hello what do you reckon today mate oh i hope it will be better than yesterday and the team yesterday how did slovenia do yeah it's okay but we have some bad numbers but today fingers hope... crossed yeah thank you <laughs> good luck mate thank you can i have a look at your secret bait What's this secret ground bait? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. What is it? <laughs> no, it's a secret. For the bleak? Yeah, for the bleak, yeah. So you learn loads when you come away on this kind of thing. This stuff absolutely stinks, and Andrea thinks it's very good for bleak. So I'm going to get some.
finisher, folks. We have just arrived home in Sheffield. We've got a coffee. We're both absolutely knackered. Um, I'd use another word, but we're not allowed to use them kind of words on the vlog. How do you feel, mate? Yeah, I'm shattered, but we uh, we had a good trip, didn't we? Fantastic trip. Tell them about your last day, because you was in, wasn't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. You were in. Get in on the second day, um, after being reserved on the first day, which was a bit disappointing to start with, but... Love to get in on the second day and drew in B section. Nice. Caught a few skimmers on the pole, a few bleak in the middle, and then a few nice crassios later on to finish fourth in B section, which I was happy with. Yeah, good team performance. Yeah. Very good team performance. We needed on the second day a low score. We had 22 points first day, but there'd been some low scoring teams um, Poland, Slovakia, Hungary. Had all done great, and for us to get a medal, we needed a low score. And um, yeah, it had to be you, a good score, didn't it? You ended up fourth. Will raise a money section. Simon Will more fourth. Cameron used fifth from a bad end of his section or the bad middle of his section. And I also managed to win my section, um, which was a fantastic result. I'm really, really pleased to do that after. Or fifth on the first day. Um, Still done well the first day, though, mate. From I, the wrong end. I think I was wrong end the first day, definitely. I, I was dead happy with both performances, to be fair. I um, witnessed your performance very good and got a few in-action clips. You did, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Good. Hopefully you'll have seen them. I'll be having a look at them right now. Um, but that gave us a 15-point total on the second day, which is what we wanted. We wanted yeah. sub-20, didn't we, to get a medal? We thought we were there or thereabouts, didn't we? We Think really we were did. in contention. But, unfortunately, the other teams who were in and around us did brilliantly as well, didn't they? Poland dropped a few points, mm -hmm. so there was a chance. But then, obviously, Slovakia, Hungary um, had done brilliantly. And Poland had done that well the first day, scoring eight, that their 25-point score second day... Still kept them in front of us. Um, and in third position, didn't they? Yeah. So, unfortunately, folks, we ended up in the position no one wants to be. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. It's not that. Um, we ended up fourth place. And for that, you get absolutely nothing. No. Not even yeah. a tap on the back, do you? Um, yeah. So, unfortunately, that trophy you saw at the very start of the vlog is no longer in the back of our van. It is in the van of... Slovakia. They absolutely annihilated it. Yeah, well done, boys, if you're watching this. Absolutely incredible display. Phenomenal. Six points on the second day of European champs. I'm saying you had it absolutely tapped. Brilliant. Who was second? Hungary. Home nation, Hungary. And then third? Poland. Poland managed to stay in third. After a great day one performance with eight points, which even eight points is an unbelievable score, it really. It's crazy. It is crazy. Um, and then, obviously, they do do individuals in the European Champs. And one um, thing that we have to have massive respect for is our teammate and our captain, William Raisin, scored a perfect two points over the two days. He, he was phenomenal in practice oh, all week. He, he, he led from the front from day. Big time. From the day we got there, wasn't it? Yeah. Great to be sat next to him and learn learn from him what we picked up this yeah. week and just in general from him. He's got a plethora of international knowledge and experience from years and years and he just knows how to apply it and when to apply it and anyone who's fished against him who's watching this will tell you when he goes into kill mode <laughs> and starts catching there's no going back is there you, you're locked in that's it i hope you've enjoyed it folks these vlogs and the things that me and denty are doing on these international trips they're very difficult for us to film so it's not cinematic it's not creative it's very raw when we get a minute, we'll do you a little piece to camera, try and show you a little bit of behind the scenes and what we're up to. Um, so sorry if it's a bit peaky trophy and iggledy piggledy, but it's all we can sort of find time to do on our own when we're doing them. So we really hope you do enjoy coming on these trips with us. I personally feel like it's really important to show it to you girls and guys. Like and subscribe. Get on it, folks. See you later.